Hey, what's up? Zach King here with a DVD Studio Pro tutorial part two, baby. So here we go. I want to show you how to make a DVD and actually burn a DVD, but the catch is it's not going to have a menu. There's a lot of reasons you would do this in real application, so I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to grab my footage here. It's called DVD Studio Pro Video. And you can see the status here is it's encoded, these green circles, just like we talked about in the last part one tutorial. If you missed that, click right down here. Here's an annotation. So this is our outline view here of the actual menu. Now there's three views. You have a graphical view, an outline view, and a story view. The story view isn't there by default, but if you right click up here in the bar, you can come down to story and it creates the tab. We can get rid of this by tearing off the tab and then shutting this window. So go ahead and come down to our footage. After we see it's encoded, we'll grab the video file and we'll drag it into tracks. Now the audio and video is connected there and we see V1, video 1, and then audio 1. Don't let this concern you. Audio 1 does not mean it's just a mono track here. Not like Final Cut where you'd see A1 and A2. It is a stereo track in one layer. Now you're going to notice there's no DVD markers that popped up and I did not put any DVD markers to be exported with the video in Final Cut so I could show you how to do it in this tutorial. If you come here and select above this playhead line you can see we can hit, well let's open this up first, pull this back, you can also do that right down here and we're going to create chapter markers by selecting above the playhead line and so I've created five markers. You can see a thumbnail for each one down here. And you could even save this still. Now notice this is actually not a 4x3 shot. This is a 16x9 film, so I'm going to go ahead and select the track, make sure it's selected here. Come to display mode and hit 16x9. There we go. Opens up a little bit to the right size. And let's go ahead and come back to our outline view, select the untitled disk, and we're going to name it here in the inspector. This is the inspector. You're going to see a lot of important things in here, just like in Motion. The inspector is one of the most critical windows in this software. This is your menu, and this is where you're going to be designing your actual DVD menus, and the, and the templates will be going in there if you so choose to use one of these. This is your palette, and this has a lot of your shapes, your buttons, and everything you need to compile the DVD design together for the menu. Over here is like behind the scenes work. They have all the actual layout and you can see the organization of your DVD and where everything's pointing to. And again, you have the three different views to look at that. And here's where you keep your assets, where you saw it's like a browser. I drag my footage and my different media into the designs. If you ever accidentally lose these windows though, you can go ahead. Apple has put the palette and the inspector icons right up here because these are very important windows. So anyway, back to naming the disc. I'm gonna say Zach's movie. When I put a space in there, you notice that it's an underscore. It's going to correspond up here too when it refreshes and says Zach's movie. Great. Now we're going to go ahead and sync this and tell it to play. So if I'm selecting the disk here, you can see I can go first play. And it says menu 1, but this is a programming thing. I don't want it to go to a menu 1 because there's no menu. So we're going to go to change that, go down to tracks and stories, DVD Studio Pro video, and then track. You're also going to notice the different chapters are there. So you could start the film from chapter 2. I'm going to go ahead and select the track, which will start from the beginning. So right now I have this programmed so when they pop in the DVD to their player, it's going to play and then finish once and play through only that time. But we can program this to be an infinite loop of cycles so they don't have to re-put in the DVD to get it started. I'm going to go ahead and do that by going to our video layer, come to the end jump, and it's not sent currently, but we're going to go back to the same thing, Tracks and Stories, DVD Studio Pro, and then Track. And so it's going to continue that loop until they take out the DVD or eventually get sick of it and turn off their TV. We're going to go back to the display mode. Let's check everything and make sure it looks good here. we got a standard DVD and TSC, and our files are encoded. So this is good. We're going to go and simulate this, which is like a test, and it's going to play the film. Now I'm going to pause it here, and we're going to change the pan scan to 16 by 9 so we can view it correctly. This is not going to change anything of the burning of the DVD, these resolutions, or the display mode. This is going to see how it's supposed to play back. We want to match these settings. So we could test out the different markers. And I'm going to play it again. Help me. Hey. 
I need final cut key. I'm on. Okay, so I'm gonna pause that there. That's an awesome video that, by the way, is coming out to the channel. You might see it around pretty soon. I'm not saying anything. Okay, anyway, back to DVD Studio Pro. So the video looks good. It simulated well. And now that it's encoded and all the chapters are where we want them, we can readjust them if we have a reason to. And then we can go ahead and burn this. And then you've made your first DVD that has no menu but is playable in any DVD player. And you can hit burn and insert your disc. Tune in for the next tutorial, part three. I'm going to be showing you how to make a DVD template, a DVD from one of these templates, and we can customize it a little bit and then make a very nice menu that's very presentable and professional. Check out my channel, Final Cut King, and the website, FinalCutKing.com, for more training and products. Tons of tutorials on the website, some that aren't even on the YouTube site. And subscribe if you like these videos. You guys take care. I'll see you next time.